Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I had this idea for ornaments. It will either be amazing or it could be horrible. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to try it out and see what happens. Long story short, I have jerry-rigged up my cup turners to rotate the ornament bulbs. I just put a little piece of pool noodle in the PVC pipe and then in the ball here. And if you see when I turn them on, they now rotate. So I'm trying to make something hopefully really cool for my girl Linda. So I'm going to do some beach themed ornaments. And Linda, if you're watching, you'll know that this is for you. So hopefully this works out. And I do have a canvas underneath here. So I'm not going to worry about how much paint I use. Because hopefully we'll get a really cool two for one painting. All right, so this is a gold, rose gold color, which will be for my sand. I find that a lot of different colors work for sand. Usually I try to go with a lighter tan, but this gold kind of just spoke to me for that. So I'm gonna just use my finger here to make sure all the spots on the bottom got covered. There we go. And do a little bit more. Remember, I got that canvas underneath here, so really not too worried about it. Want to make sure we have plenty of coverage on here. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with some blues. So this one is a turquoise. That should be really pretty. And I don't care if I get like the exact wave lines. I mean, this is a rotating surface. I'm not hand painting it. So we're just going for a beach vibe feel to this, okay? And I think this will be fun. And I'm quite happy with these ornaments being able to rotate them because I can do some cool, I can do alcohol ink or epoxy or all kinds of things on here. Okay, and then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker blue. This one's, I think a metallic blue. So that turquoise is Artist Loft and this blue and that gold are both Arteza. And then I'm going to be using a navy blue, which is Porage Posse paint. Okay. I'm going to take a straw and blow this around a little bit. Okay, now lastly we have some white. Now this is not an exact line here, so I'm gonna just kind of put it in the general area as it rotates. Maybe a little bit up here too. Awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and blow that around. I'm actually going to add a little more navy blue to this one though because it's not covered all the way to the top. All right. I think that looks pretty darn awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of move these guys out of the way a bit so I can get to the canvas. You can see there's really not a lot of paint on the canvas, so I will be adding more. All right, I moved those to the side. Those will continue to dry. I think at this point, I'm gonna actually make this into a beach, because why not? Now I already have these colors on the canvas, which kind of will affect it a little bit, but not too bad. So what I'm going to do here 
And I'm going to do this as a clean pour, adding some gold over here. And then the turquoise through here. I'm just going to layer the colors here. I'm going to speed this part up so it doesn't take too long. All right, I've got all my paint down. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with some white and then I'm gonna hit it with my hair dryer. So I'm gonna put the white right in here between the sand and the water. And then also I'll go ahead and put some up here. And this will be interesting because we do have those other colors in there. So here we go. I have my little attachment. I'm gonna use that on cold air and high air. So here we go. Well, that was definitely a bit more motion in the ocean than I was going for. To be honest, I got a little distracted. <laughs> Anyways, it's kind of late. So here's what we're going to do. And I still like this. You can do more to it if you want, but I, I like it. It gives the ocean vibe. It's not 100% perfect oceany or whatever. We also got some cool cells developing here. So I'm going to let these ornaments dry overnight and the painting and then we'll come back tomorrow and see how both of them look. All right guys so we're back. Let's start with the painting here. I did end up actually doing a little bit more work to this after the video. I wanted to bring some of that darker blue back and then I added a little white line in there. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It definitely didn't come out how I was intending because I wasn't really paying attention. Attention and I overdid it with the hair dryer, but it's kind of growing on me. And I do love the foamy part over here with the white and the sand. Let me know what you guys think. Um, but on the other hand, I am super happy with the ornaments. These aren't 1000% dry, but pretty much. And I just put some twine on here. So I think these look great. They get a little paint bubble there. Well, not bubble, but you know, just from that paint rotating. I think these are great. And it was actually super easy and fun to do this. So I'll be making some more of these, I think. And they'll look even better when they're sealed. So there you guys go. Some acrylic pour beach ornaments. Stay tuned for a lot more ornament videos coming up.